Good evening, I'm Craig Lloyd, CEO of the Murrindindi Shire Council. Thanks for tuning in to Council's COVID-19 pandemic update for Tuesday the 14th of April. I hope that everyone had a safe and happy Easter at home. The total number of coronavirus cases in Victoria is currently 1,291. That's an increase of 10 from yesterday. And sadly, 14 Victorians have died from the coronavirus to date. I am pleased to advise that Murrindindi Shire still has just the one confirmed case. While we're starting to see some improvement in the rate of transmission, we still have a long way to go. On Sunday, the Victorian Government announced that the state of emergency declared last month has been extended, and that now runs until the 11th of May. This is to continue the measures designed to flatten the curve of the coronavirus and give our health system the best chance of managing the virus. A reminder that Stage 3 restrictions are still in place and there are only four reasons to be leaving your home. That's shopping for what you need, food and essential supplies, medical care or compassionate needs, exercise in compliance with public gathering requirements, and work and study if you can't work or learn remotely. The other big announcement from the Victorian Government over the weekend was a $60 million package to boost mental health services. And this includes an expansion of online and phone counselling services to meet the increasing needs. You can find links and information on mental health support, um, the services available on our website at murrindindi.vic.gov.au. Just click on the blue banner at the top or give us a call. A reminder also that Council is here to help. We have modified a number of our services and introduced some new ones, including Dindy Link, our support program to the over 70s and those that are at higher risk, and our very popular Book Butler service. And these are there to assist the community during these challenging times. Again, for more information, you can visit our website or give us a call, and that's 57720333. This week, schools go back across the Shire, and for most, this will be via the virtual classroom. And I'd like to thank all the students and their parents and wish them well for Term 2 as they adapt to a new way of learning. Our public toilets in our busiest areas have been cleaned and reopened this morning, with our staff conducting cleans every two hours during the opening day. Our resource recovery centres also continue to operate normal hours, but a reminder that minimising trips is important and we're only accepting card payments and you will also be asked for proof that you're a resident of the Shire and that's because a number of other councils have closed their resource recovery centres. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget we're also doing daily updates on UGFM Monday to Saturday at 8.30am and 9.05 on Wednesdays. Stay safe, stay home.